Hi, I'm Dave. I'm about to show you one of the single biggest improvements you can make to the F7 series motor that AutoCAD offers to improve performance. Probably a 15 horsepower gain over stock. And it's called a fuel restrictor. I'll uh, show the components and what's done to make it happen. The fuel restrictor is literally nothing more than a Makuni jet that is put inside of the fuel line to restrict the fuel flow. This is going to keep the fuel pressure down to its optimum level. Uh, Articat fuel regulators tend to run anywhere between 41 and 48 PSI. If you've ever raced one of your friends and with an F7 and he beats you by a long shot with the same sled, it's usually because his sled is running leaner because it is running at the lower PSI. This fuel restrictor allows you to jet your fuel injected Articat down to where it runs at its optimum pressure, which we're gonna shoot for 41 PSI. Now here's why this mod is so nice. It's so simple and it takes very little to accomplish. This is a barb fitting uh, for a quarter inch line. This barb fitting has been tapped out for a standard Makuni jet. And this tap in here is at M6 by one pitch. You tap out the inside of the barb fitting and thread your jet in whatever size you choose to run. Now the ranges are gonna be between probably a 280 and a 390. Beyond 390, there is really very little, if any, difference in the fuel flow. Um, it'd be almost like running stock. I'll show you here in a minute the pressures I'm running. I'm running a 330 jet currently. I want to run a little bit safe. Uh, the 280 jet makes it run faster, but I have not had a chance to check the plugs for the ultimate check to see if my tuning is on spot. So we'll put this jet in, show you the fuel pressure, and uh, show you how this works. For those of you who aren't watching this in high def, here's a close-up that kind of shows the barb fitting, the tap in the end, and the 330 Makuni jet. That's going to limit the fuel flow. As you can see, I've already spliced my line or cut my line to accept this barb fitting. And I'm going to insert this into here with the Makuni jet leading into the fuel rail system of the fuel injection system. And then I'm going to hook up the other end of the pipe also, which is down below. I'm going to hook up the other end of the pipe the same way, completing the circuit. And we'll tighten those down. As you have with any fuel line, you want to make sure that the fuel line is not rubbing on anything uh, with the vibrations of the snowmobile. You do not want to rub a hole in your fuel line. Now this gauge that I have on here is purchased it's a liquid filled gauge oil filled gauge and you could easily take the gauge off i left mine on just so i could monitor the fuel pressure and make sure that i was still running at the optimum pressure so let's fire it up and show the results now it is a liquid filled gauge and with that it takes a second to respond it doesn't respond instantly because of the oil in the gauge itself. You can see right now running stock of about 45 psi. Now when I give a gas, that should drop to roughly 41 psi, a wide open throttle. That's the only point in which the metering of the fuel changes. So that's all it takes to restrict the fuel flow down to 41 PSI, which is the optimum pressure to make this F7 motor run at peak performance. Last year when I ran against my father who has a ZR800, he used to beat me by a few sled lengths. Uh, this year I smoked him by several sled lengths, so I know it has made a difference in the performance of the snowmobile. Uh, I also raced against a long track Mountain Cat 800 twin, who I used to also lose to. And this sled again will keep up with that, actually it will pass that sled also. Uh, in equal conditions, uh, this sled is faster. Uh, very inexpensive, very effective way to make your F7 motor very powerful. And put it at the peak performance. 
Now, of course, with any modification, the one thing that should always be done is should be checking the plugs. Uh, if the plugs are turning white, if they're running too lean, uh, that's your, your telltale sign of how the motor is running. Uh, the gauge alone could be inaccurate, so if your gauge is off, you're going to get an accurate reading. Uh, you should always check the plugs to confirm where you're at. And always start with a higher jet and work your way down. Uh, be the safest option. Thanks for watching.